Hi, my name is Carolina and I am here at the beautiful Purple Valley Yoga Center together with David Robson, who Hi. is teaching uh, again an amazing retreat together with Yelena, his mm -hmm. wife, and it's fantastic to have you back. Yeah. And David came uh, to Purple Valley, I think it's seven years ago. Yeah, I think this is Six, the seventh year. Yeah, maybe. exactly. Mm -hmm. So we came here at the same time. So you were the first teacher I was practicing with at Purple Valley. Yes, and maybe I'll be your last. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's fantastic, mm -hmm. always. I'm always learning so much. Ah. So when David came seven years ago, we started to do TikToks. Yeah. And we are still doing it's an the ongoing. TikToks. Yeah, <laughs> it's an still ongoing on it. process, basically. Yes. And uh, because he's leaving in a few days, I was thinking that today we are going to do a tutorial about TikTok so I can watch it mm -hmm. while you are away for one year. Okay. Before you come back next March 2020. Okay. Yeah? Yes. So let's see how that goes. All right. So for me, there's a huge fear factor. Fear factor. Yeah. yeah. I, I think for most people, there's a lot of fear. Um, it's a movement jumping back onto the arms that we don't do anywhere else in the practice. You know, it's the first time that we do this strange kind of backflip. And, uh, you know, I've seen some people get it on the very first try. But really? usually they have some kind of gymnastics background where they did those kinds of actions when they were kids. But for most of us, yeah, it takes a bit longer, like seven years. Maybe, maybe today's the day for <laughs> Maybe you. today it's the day, exactly. But you know what I uh, say about fear? In, in the asanas, you know, it, it doesn't help to say it's just fear, because fear is a real thing. Fear is a real thing in the body, and it's just, just like stiffness. And you can't discount your fear. You can't say, you just get over it. It doesn't work that way. So you have, to, um, you have to approach whatever it is that you're afraid of. So in this, this case, jumping back into the hands, the talk, you have to approach that again and again with a calm breath. And it doesn't mean that you do it each time, but encountering that fear in, with a calm state of mind helps to ease it. It, it takes a, the pressure away from it slowly. So you'll find, you know, you, you slowly start to move into it. You're willing to go deeper into it. So it, the breath is really important and repetition. So Ashtanga is perfect in that sense for, you know, confronting your fears, um, changing your boundaries that way because you've got that calm breath, that calm state of mind and the repetition. As long as you do not avoid the posture. Yeah, well, if, <laughs> if you're a good Ashtangi. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And so these, these TikToks, they're kind of strange because they don't show up until maybe near the end of intermediate series. And there's no set place for them in the sequence, the same way all the other postures, you know, are, are sort of, um, they're, defined by the one that comes before. When you get that one, you move on in the sequence. So never primary? No. <laughs> or even the beginning of intermediate. Um, because there's a handstand involved, usually um, my teacher, Shrat, has said that uh, we don't want to start to work on strengthening the shoulders before we open the back. Oh. So, you know, it depends where you're starting on that spectrum of flexibility. If you're more strong, then it's, it'll be easier to do the TikTok at first, actually, but it won't pay off because it'll, it'll push the uh, availability of back bends mm. away from you. You know, you're, it'll tighten you up. If you're super flexible, then um, it's good for you in the sense of building strength, but it's also a little bit dangerous. So usually we wait until after or around Karandavasana okay. in intermediate series. I like to introduce it around Karandavasana for flexible people because I feel like it, it helps to start to build that strength. Mm. You know, the strengthen same. Strengthen the strength, shoulders. Yeah, strength. strengthen the shoulders, strengthen the core. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because I feel, you uh, know, I think that my fear has been usually around the shoulders as well. Like yeah. It's just basically opening almost too much. Yeah, I think it's a legitimate fear. Yeah. I think you, you need to be really careful with this posture. Um, it's very easy if you have a tendency to open the shoulder joint to overload the joint when you're pushing back jumping yeah. into it And so a lot of time you'll see people kind of going into that um, the, It's kind of like compression in the shoulder yeah. joint and then it's like a dislocation action So mm. you, you have to be very careful. Yeah, yeah, but this year you told me something about my shoulder blades that I sh should basically bring my shoulder blades together uh -huh. when Did I? 
Yes, when I'm jumping back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, where do we start? <clears throat> well, um, we're we going to do... the mat in front of us. <laughs> we're going to do, I guess, start with a tick. And the tick is the handstand where you come up and then come down into Urdhva Dhanurasana. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how warmed up you are. It's, it's like incredibly hot here, so you're probably pretty warm <laughs> <Yes>. already. <laughs> um, so we, we could just give it a try. Yeah, I can do a yeah. sun salutation before we All go right. into it. I'll just watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's okay. I think I will be okay. Yeah? Yes. All right. Well, if you get it, it'll be a good video. And if something happens, it'll be... A good of... video, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this. Okay, let's just okay. talk about handstanding yeah. first. And this will be a nice warm-up for your shoulders, too. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess the idea would be you'd be in downward dog or something. But usually we start a little bit shorter. Yeah. You know? And um, your hands are going to be shoulder width apart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and good. And when you're doing the arm balancing action, you want to try to ground through the index knuckles of your hands. So it's like your forearm is spinning in and then your tricep is pressing back. So it's like a spiraling action and you're pressing the uh, shoulders back, but not down. You're, you want to feel like you're extending or um, elevating the scapula, okay. letting them lift towards your ears. That looks good. And then shift your weight forward into your hand. Test the weight there. Try to establish the strength of your arms. And then bending your knees, keeping your weight forward in your arms, jump your hips up over your shoulders. Will you catch me? Yeah, I'm going to spot you. Okay. Good. Okay. Breathing here. Eventually you go inhale up, exhale down, but we're going to take our time here. Okay, so now basically just go into a really poor handstand. It's like a banana shape. That's it, try to relax a little bit. Extend from your shoulders. That's it, keep reaching out through the shoulders, chest up, good, reaching as you bring your feet down. Okay, that part's not so bad because you're basically just falling into Urdhva Dhanurasana. But the next part is the really challenging part where you're going to jump back into the weight of the hands. Can we do one more handstand? Sure, warm up? you wanna come up? Yeah. All right, let me help. Push through your heels, good. The traditional sequence is to go um, three tick tocks, three Viparita Chakrasana, up, dump, 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 and then two just over that handstand, come down to Urdhva and then come to standing like you just did. And then the third is Vrijikasana, the scorpion yes. in the handstand position. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Good, good, easy, breathe, reach from your shoulders, you've got it, good. Good, coming up to standing again? Okay. All right, good. So now you're warmed up. Yeah, now I'm warmed up, <laughs> it's okay now. And if you're watching at home, maybe you wanna do that as well. Just uh, move the furniture <laughs> out of the way. Get warmed up, and then okay. we're gonna try again. <clears throat> so again, you shift your weight forward into your hands. Try to press your front ribs in. Keep your weight as forward as you can as you bend your knees, and then hop. Good, stay in the arms, and big jump. That's it, good, you see? Okay, so basically, you wanna feel like you're extending through your legs, you can bend the knees, and just let the weight of the legs carry you over while you keep reaching from your shoulders. And then you're gonna maintain the reach of the shoulders, stretching out through the shoulder blades. Bring your weight back over your wrists. So you're trying to get your chest to come back towards the, uh, I guess it's the back of your mat. That's right, Carolina. Try a little hop next time you do that. So you're just gonna go hop, beautiful. And as you hop, you wanna drive the weight back into the hands, and you're gonna keep feeling like you're pulling your hands towards the back of the mat so that you're closing the shoulder joint. Mm. Good. So you're gonna go back, and don't jump until, that was great, 
until your shoulders are over your wrists. If you jump before the shoulders are over the wrists, your weight is gonna collapse back down. Okay, so one more time, a big jump this time, bringing your weight back into your chest, rock, and then jump. Whew. Good, <laughs> would not happen without you. Usually you do this at the end of the practice, you're all warmed up, super flexy, you know, mm -hmm. deep into it. So it's a bit hard just to jump into yeah, it. Yeah. But, you know, you're a superstar. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> Should we try one more? Yeah. So if I'm alone without you, what do I do? If you don't have a teacher and you're practicing this, sometimes it helps to elevate the feet. Yeah. So if you want to, if you have a couch or something, something about knee height yeah. is a good place to start. And that we have a bench over here we could use. Yeah. We could try that. But you can jump up and over carefully onto the bench and then just try to jump back. It makes a really big difference when mm -hmm. the feet are elevated. You yeah. know, it, it's not as good as having a teacher because you're not going through the full range yeah. of yeah. movement, yeah. but it might help. Yeah. The way I learned it on my own was I just kept jumping in Urdhva okay. Dhanurasana. I jumped, I jumped every day. I'd go yeah. a little bit more, a little bit more, and then one day I went over. Okay. You're also telling me in the class that I should relax the front part of my body, basically. Yeah. yeah. But you want to feel like you're extending your hips, yeah. you know, letting yourself open into a back bend, mm -hmm. and you want to let the legs drop, you know, yeah. especially on the jump back, right? Um, a lot of the time what happens is when we're jumping back, we lift the knees too soon. And so it's like you're folding your body before your weight is over your arm, so it's just going to pull you back down. You have to think about jumping into Vrichakasana, into Scorpion. So you're jumping into a back bend first, and then once your weight is over your arms, then you're going to lift your legs up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, let's try one more. I have basically decided I'm very committed to this now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yep. Good. So this would be, here if you bend your knees now, the Vrichakasana shape that you're going to jump back into, right here. And so you see here you're nice and balanced, and then you come down. So we're going to try to jump back up into that shape. So your chest goes back, hop, that's it. Hop your feet towards your head when you jump. One more, like that. Good. That was good. And then last one, big jump. Well, <laughs> the problem is when we get scared, we do this. Yeah. You know, everything start, activates in the front of the body. And so it's pulling your knees to your chest mm -hmm. when, you, when you get worried at that one spot. So that's what I was saying about the breath and repetition, kind of extending your calmness, your equanimity into that range of motion so you can stay relaxed as yeah. you jump. Nothing terrible will, nope. will happen probably. Probably be okay. Probably, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. One more or this is enough? How do you feel? Uh, I can do one more. Yeah. Let's try more, one more. There's a swimming pool behind us. Exactly. You can go swimming after. The last one. So I feel still, you know, that sometimes there's a little bit too much pressure in my arms or in, in your, my shoulders. In your shoulders, yeah. yeah. So stretch your arms up by your ears. Yeah. This is always the action here that we want. We always want to close the shoulder mm -hmm. joint when okay. we're jumping into it. Make sure that you're not opening like this. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So that's the first action. And then the second is the shoulder blades lift up. So yeah, you gotta really feel like you're reaching through. Yeah. And the quicker you go through the action, the better it's gonna be on the shoulders. Okay. You know, if you get stuck sort of before you're really balanced mm -hmm. and you're really open in the shoulder, it's gonna hurt. You wanna try to get, jump high enough that you're back into the scorpion position so you're not wide open here you're here yeah do you know what i mean yeah, so your chest yeah, yeah. is more down and forward yeah mm -hmm. let's try good good so you try to relax these muscles reach through your legs good and then bend your knees good open your chest reach good Good, so this is the direction. It's like your triceps are rounding towards each other to close the shoulder joint. Sometimes it even helps to turn the hands out slightly. And then as you go back, here is where you wanna jump, but you wanna pass through that movement very quickly as you go back. So you gotta go further back when you jump here. That was good, yes. And this time we'll go all the way up. Yep, okay. Good, and then legs up together, nice and calm. Good, and then fold. 
<laughs> oh, I lost the sense of direction. You're going to be here next year, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> be careful. Have oh. fun. Yeah. <laughs>